what well may be a national disaster. One well-established way of recovering from Christmas is to go hunting on Boxing Day. The meet of the West Warwickshire hunt at Stratford-upon-Avon provided a good example of the idea. I don't suppose the Stirrup Cup came amiss on the day after Christmas. In any case, it's an agreeable way of starting a day's sport. The meet was well attended, and Shakespeare's birthplace provided an attractive setting as the hunt moved off across the Avon with the famous theatre in the background. At Pagham in Sussex, the thing to do on Boxing Day is to compete in a pram race. It's an old Pagham custom and a good way of getting in some much needed exercise as well. Three stops have to be made and both pushers and passengers have to sink a pint at each of them. Although this is likely to slow them up, no competitor has ever been known to complain as yet. Yes, the course is two miles, 440 yards and three pints. Any of them who survive their visits to the bear, the lamb and the king's head struggle on gamely to the finish. The winner must surely be the fittest man or woman in Pagham on Boxing Day. Now here's another way of getting into trim again after the Christmas festivities. Not everybody's choice, I admit, but Monsieur Charon and Mr. Jones evidently thought so when they met in Paris. One way of dealing with an opponent is to take him with you out of the ring. Spectators get a bit of exercise this way as well. Yes, you might think they'd both had enough by now, but when a wrestler really gets warmed up, it's obviously hard to stop him. In this case, the referee had his work cut out. It began to look as if he had a bit of a hangover, but that was quickly cured. Of course, clearing up after Christmas is one of the worst parts of the inevitable aftermath. An inventive Berliner has discovered that by attaching the vacuum cleaner to his accordion, he can play it with a minimum of effort. As for his wife, well, obviously she has music while she works. <laughs> 